Hello, my name is Kamal. Oh wow, I am from the clouds. I'm a human. I'm a human now, but I used to be. I used to be a raindrop. Word up. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kamal. I I I am from the clouds. I'm a human. I'm a human now, but I used to be. I used to be a raindrop. Word up. I'm really good at putting words up. I make them levitate and circle with the birds. This cat visual can't just massive. Boy, you might be good at putting some bread. John John, what the hell is that? I said good at putting some bread. He's going away. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that dollop was one gram off. One gram off. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah, so I put my stuff on my fish tank that was in the car. Still in the car, I guess. <laughs> no, Pam, I'm saying my, my lights and stuff. My lights and stuff in the black car, I know I didn't just see them. Oh, and they must be in the garage. This is sugar-free Hershey's. It's not that tasty by itself, but when you add it with like peanut butter and oats, it's good. Zero fat, less than one gram of protein, five grams of carbs for two tablespoons. I don't measure it because I didn't even just use a tablespoon. That was like nothing. Yeah, I'm saying. All right, focus. All right. I just came from the like a little re-up grocery haul real quick. And I got some stuffs that I'm gonna be eating this week. Like, well, I don't have I told you? I don't know if I said this, but this week I'm eating like a straight up bodybuilder, bruh. Chicken breast, chicken thigh, brown rice. I'm still gonna kinda sort of flexible diet on my um breakfast. And when I say flexible dieting versus bodybuilder eating, it means the same exact macros, but just different sources. Like, like not not a protein shake. I'm trying to take the protein shake out. Probably won't. But I'm going to eat most of my protein in, like, chicken. You know, chicken breast, tenderloin, chicken breast. Um, I'm going to eat most of my carbs in brown rice, except for in the morning. I'm going to have some Cheerios. So Cheerios. They're right there. And um, I've been doing it for the last two days. I'm actually going to I start, like, messing these up. I've got a whole brand new thing of this, as you all saw this morning. Um with with one serving of peanut butter and two scoops of protein and that's probably that'll probably be my protein that probably be the two scoops of protein that i eat for the day anyway um so i'm gonna start eating like a bodybuilder so here we go is that good i can't taste anything you so dirty bro look how cute she's it is. sick i see these when we're at work all the time hey you shouldn't eat off of this end. we're at work all the time the ladies have those in their trash the, the wax cases That's pretty fucking good. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, so I want one real quick. Just for the little haul. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Alright. We got some of this 30 calorie silk milk. As y'all already know, the macros are on fleek. Alright. Two and a half grams of fat. One gram of carb, or less than a gram of carb, one gram of protein. Bro, this is basically milk texture water, like, if we're being real. I also got a huge pack of chicken breast tenderloin and a huge pack of chicken thigh. This one is my girlfriend's. What else I get? Oh, yeah. For when I don't hit my carbs, I know I just said I was going to get the majority out of, like, brown rice and russet potato, but... If I come home and I have like like 40 carbs left, which I usually do, it'd be something like that. But I'm trying to just hit my carbs with high quality like whole wheat or like brandy, brandy Odie. Carb sources. So, oh yeah, <laughs> big behind thing of brown rice. So, that's what I'm having, my nigga. That's what I'm having this week. That's what y'all can look forward to. So I'm definitely gonna put more emphasis on the working out portion and just like topic portion or whatever. You know what I'm saying. So, because it, this should get boring. But for right now, I cooked some brown rice this morning. 
Don't look at my brown rice. I wanted to see it. Cool. I cooked some brown rice this morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll talk to y'all in a second. What's good, y'all? Was really good, y'all. Now I can I, I I can tell that y'all know. I know that y'all can tell that I'm in a much better mood lately. These last like three videos, man. This last month, y'all just don't understand. I've been trying to keep it together. Your boy been trying to not die, but um, I have not had it. Well, nah, not these last three months. What the fuck I'm talking? Anyway, like these last three weeks, like I haven't had a car for like a month and some. Uh, luckily, I got people around me that got cars and shit, so I could just like shop around and buy a nice car you never want to rush into buying a car so i've been a little stressed because it's it's you feel like a bum when you don't have a car bro <laughs> well that go that lightning right there boy what you know about that but you feel like a bum when you don't have a car and that thing like it so i finally bought the whip i'm gonna show y'all the whip i'm gonna show y'all the whip yeah you know, first of all listen to her crank up i ain't named her yet but listen to a crank up. You listen. You listening? Listen now. Bitch, why you look so good, man? Baby, why you look so good, baby? Ooh, I still gotta wash her up and give her that initial wash. You know what I'm saying? My quality type jump. But. But why she gotta look so good, though? Why she gotta look so good, though? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even feel like the camera does it justice. So yeah, it's just the updated version of the car that I had because I really, 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 really love the BMW 3 Series. I like my, my old car more. My old car that I actually sold to my parents. I don't even know if y'all can see it. I got my flashlight on my phone. I actually sold this car to my parents because it's it's messed up, man. It's messed up. This is my, this is my old boo right here. Look at the BMW sign. It's all chipped off, but... You know what I'm saying? This is the first car I ever bought, bro. This is the first car I ever bought my whole life. It's the first car I ever bought. So, oh, oh look at them chest lines. Anyway, it's the, that's the first car I ever bought. So, you know, nothing's ever going to, like, replace my baby. But I want y'all to drop comments, right? My baby name was Aubrey. Her name was Aubrey. My first car, the name of that car was Aubrey. What should I name this bad mother thumper fun fact okay so no no, no. it's a 2010 328i drives perfect got some new bridge stones on that beat you know what i ain't saying that's pretty much all you need to know let me take y'all in Woo! let me cut the lights on you know i ain't saying I just want to give y'all a little tour because this is why I have been stressed out. This and I'm I'm getting my personal training website up and not some apparel. I would like oh blah, I got so much to tell y'all. This is just gonna be like a little video of a little update. You know I ain't saying, you know I ain't saying. So you know nothing. Little slight work, you know. Little slight work, you know. I don't, I, don't, I don't need to start this. I don't need to start this, bro. Like. If you live that fit life, you already know it's 13 pounds of plastic bottles in your car. But that's gonna stay there for now. Um, you know, just normal shit, man. Normal shit. I finally got a push to start button. But normal shit. Got the car for a real good ass deal. Even has a mount for a navigation system. But my girlfriend bought me a camera stand for my car, for my DSLR, like something that can actually hold my uh DSLR. So I'm going to pop that on there. It's going to be dope as fuck. But listen, I've been very stressed out lately because of the car, because of other shit. And um, I'm coming out with something. It's going to be very small, very high quality. When I say very high quality, I mean like y'all going to be like, whoa, John. You know what I'm saying? I never want to come out with nothing to y'all. Like on no fuck shit so I can make five dollars extra because y'all already know I'm trying to get rich and that didn't act like I don't know nobody. So like the 
what I run off of is knowing that if the first thing I let out is is like dope and fire as fuck and everybody's like, nah, nigga, this shit is cool. People gonna buy it again. I'm not gonna be one of these YouTubers that be like, you know, I'm selling you stuff because I just love to sell you stuff. This is my this is my passion. I just love it. Nah, like I don't love selling shit. I'm not gonna love. I lo I don't love money. I like money a lot though. Um, secondly. And this is something that's coming faster than that is my personal training website. Now, ever since I said I was thinking about uh, opening up the macro coach or whatever, and I put the web, I put the the email up there. So many people have been like, "Hey, so what you good with the price?" And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and let y'all know, I, I don't do meal plans because when I do meal plans, I hand write meal plans and I mail them to the person. And then we keep in contact with weekly uh, weigh-ins and this and that because I'm never gonna just unless like I get super hot fire and just lose all my values. I'm never gonna um, shoot y'all out some cookie cutter ass <laughs> meal plans because it's very, very very easy to do that. Like I've done it before. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. People are like, hey, can you give me a meal plan? I'm like, shit, I'm gonna give you the one I typed up for so and so over here. Modify that bitch like a couple of times. Shoot that bitch to you for seventy five dollars. But nah, like now I see the value in it, especially when you learn, you know better, you do better. So I'm definitely gonna um, open up the macro coaching back again. For right now, if you want me to be a macro coach, I'm definitely take you on I'm not taking too many people I'm not gonna be overwhelmed I want to be like a good ass coach I want to build a dope ass portfolio so um it's 50 smackaronis a month $50 a month and basically that's just me giving you your macros for the five to seven day periods tracking your weigh-ins changing shit that needs to be changed and there's like a hyper focus on your training to train in weak spots because when you already for example know how to fucking work out you have a good program you have a good split or whatever um i'm not gonna change that shit I, we're just gonna tweak the the weak points on your training program all right, and so that's why I've been so stressed lately because I'm actually working on a website. It's gonna be a really nice website. It's where y'all ain't gotta email me and be like, "How much is it?" All right, so what do I get? And da -da 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 -da. it's gonna be it's gonna be a fucking website. I'm gonna be like, "Nigga, link in the description," and you just click that bitch. You wanna pay for it? Click that. <laughs> put that information in and give me your money. <laughs> I know people are gonna be mad at that, but really listen listen. I was thinking about this like I have trained many 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 people before macro coaching full-blown meal plans Training them in the gym fucking home gyms everywhere. I've gone everywhere for people I've driven across town to here to there to here to there to here to there come say for my fucking clients I know this shit. I know how to do this shit It's a lot easier online and people are like well $50 is really cheap per month nigga It's just macros like you just have to shoot someone macros every every week every five days to a week depending on how far along they are in their diet like macros is easy as shit when you're paying somebody two three hundred dollars to give you a mac to give you a macros per month you're not even paying they have the same knowledge i do they probably gonna put you within the same 10 um carbs fats and protein that i am well, you're paying for their name like if 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 juice box over here this nigga named juice box over here is like nah nigga it's five hundred dollars a month for me to macro coach you because you know i'm a good ass macro coach it's like well i mean so is uh john cannon and this nigga charged a 10 percent of what you charge and that's because number one i don't do this shit for a living bro i would love to one day like that'd be dope i'm not gonna lie but like i don't do this shit for a living i have a job a job working for my dad's company and i get paid a lot my dad doesn't even pay regular employees minimum wage he don't pay nobody below ten dollars an hour so imagine what his sons get paid like and i'm not bragging i'm just saying anyway so yeah um that's that that's why i've been so like tight lately but since i got my car everything's kind of like chill the fuck out i'm cool in the house working on a motherfucking website and stuff and um everything's high quality i'm really satisfied with myself at this point in life it's like i know that sounds crazy but in life right now in terms of quality of, of how i'm doing things with quality nigga i'm just really satisfied because i know that when i come out with something i don't care if it's three months from now i know that when i come out with something it's gonna be like my nigga sean say a1 like it's gonna be flame fire spitter so you know I don't even worry about quality. The only thing I worry about is 
people gonna buy this because I don't the quality of this shit like people will be mad about the quality not worried about that I'll wait and wait and wait until I could do shit high quality and that's what I'm doing right now um so that's cool man I hope y'all like my car drop them comments what should I what should I name my baby what should I name my baby nah I disappeared uh, thank y'all for watching you know what I'm saying hey hey y'all just need to remember tree things that's if you train good eat good and sleep good then that's a good ass life you feel like I was touched by an angel. Once again, a whole nother angle. I got a lot of holes in my angle. I got a lot of love and a whole lot of anger.